She is the governor-elect. It took until 2022 here in Massachusetts, the place where the American Revolution began, for this state to do what now a majority of the other states have already done, elect a woman to the governor's office. Maura Healy making history on that and a number of other fronts, becoming the first openly gay governor elected anywhere in the country. And along with the lieutenant governor-elect Kim Driscoll, they now become the first all-female executive team elected anywhere in the country as well. Our political reporter, Sharman Sakedi, covering the Healy campaign. She's with me here in the back bay. Sharman. And Ben, Massachusetts has never elected a slate of this many women at once. And Maura Healy getting on stage and acknowledging this historic moment. She told young girls and young LGBTQ people, she told them that they can be whatever they want to be, and this proves it. And she had a message for her supporters and also those who didn't support her. To those who voted for me, and to those who didn't, I want you to know I'll be a governor for everyone. And I. And I'll work with anyone who's up for making a difference in this state. Fired up crowd there for That's sure. Tomorrow, Healy and Driscoll will be meeting with Governor Baker and Lieutenant Governor Polito to talk about the transition. Back to you. Charmin Sacchetti for us here at the Fairmont Copley Plaza, Democratic headquarters. Charmin, thank you for that. Maura Healy ran to the center in this race, and who could blame her? Based on the candidate Republicans put up, Jeff Deal, a man who embraced Donald Trump in a state that voted 2-1 to one for Joe Biden for president in 2020. Our Sean Scheibots covering the Deal campaign. Sean, any sign of a concession yet? Yeah, Ben, in fact, that happened just moments ago. Jeff Deal came out here and spoke to supporters, giving his concession speech to a very unhappy crowd of supporters here. The Republican, of course, having a long uphill battle in the state of Massachusetts tonight, saying that the gap is simply too wide to close. He says he did speak with Maura Keeley and congratulated her, asking supporters to give her the same support that they would have given him. Now, Deal said he is proud of the race that they ran and the issues that they focused on. And here's what he said just moments ago. I spoke with her. I congratulated her on her win. The people of the Commonwealth have spoken. I respect their choice. And I ask everyone who supported me and Leah to give her the same opportunity for success that I would have asked if the shoe had been on the other foot. Now, some here in the crowd actually cried when he gave that concession speech. And Jeff Deal spoke directly to them, saying that though their campaign ends tonight, their work does not. Back to you. Sean Shaibot for us at the Deal campaign. Sean, thank you for that. So Massachusetts at this point, a bright spot for Democrats in what appears to be an uncertain night across the country. One big question, will Maura Healey do better than Charlie Baker did four years ago? He was running in a heavily Democratic year in 2018. She's running in what appears to be a Republican year, but it still is early, especially elsewhere across the country.